Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22631.2338, which is released to the beta channel. As a reminder, insiders who were previously on Build 22624 will automatically get moved to Build 22631 via an enablement package. The enablement package artificially increments the build number for the update with new features getting rolled out and turned on to make it easier to differentiate from devices with the update with features off by default. This approach is being used for the beta channel only and is not indicative of any changes or plans for final feature rollouts. Insiders who landed in the group with new features turned off by default, build 22621, can check for updates and choose to install the update that will have features rolling out, build 22631. Now starting with this build, and talking about what's new in this build, this build includes a new widget, Focus Session. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new Focus Session widget as part of a clock app update via the Microsoft Store to Windows Insiders in the beta channel. With this new widget, you will be able to quickly start and stop Focus Sessions on your device. So this was the only new thing introduced in this build, moving forward and talking about the changes and improvements in this build. For Taskbar and System Tray, beginning to roll out with this build, Chat is now pinned by default to the taskbar and can be unpinned like other apps on the taskbar. Moving forward and talking about the fixes in this build. In general, fixed an issue that was causing some insiders to see untranslated text in some areas across the system, including in File Explorer and Settings. If you're continuing to see issues with translations, please file feedback. For taskbar and system tray, fixed an issue where dragging app icons in the taskbar may sometimes lead to an explorer.exe crash fixed an issue which was causing some insiders to see labels in their taskbar unexpectedly fixed an issue causing task manager to not launch for some insiders for file explorer fixed an issue for dark mode users where you would see a white flash when opening file explorer fixed an issue where after changing between dark and light mode the icons in the command bar and context menu might become very difficult to see we made some more improvements to help with the performance of loading home also fixed a memory leak related to home that would grow each time home was refreshed or accessed. For settings, fixed an issue where settings wasn't launching in safe mode for some insiders. For task manager, fixed an issue where the dialog when collecting a process memory dump erroneously said it was collecting a kernel memory dump. For dynamic lighting, fixed an issue where you may not see the notification on the first update to a build with dynamic lighting letting you know that dynamic lighting is enabled. Now talking about the improvements for both build 22621.2338 and build 22631.2338. Added a new option under settings, Bluetooth and devices, phone link to disable phone link altogether in Windows 11. This setting will prevent phone link from communicating with your mobile devices. The camera app, Cortana, photos app, and people app can be uninstalled. This update addresses an issue that affects sleep mode, after you resume from sleep, a blank window appears that has the title Windows Input Experience. This update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Excel. It stops responding when you try to share a file as a PDF in Microsoft Outlook. This update addresses an issue that affects remote apps. The display of some elements is not aligned correctly. This update supports Daylight Saving Time DST, changes in Greenland. This update changes the spelling of Ukraine's capital from Kiev to Kiev. This update addresses an issue that might make Windows stop responding. This might occur if you use Microsoft OneDrive files that are compressed by NTFS. This update addresses an issue that might cause a user mode memory leak. It might occur when you call copy file or move file. This update addresses an issue that affects an application virtualization (AppV) environment. Copy operations within it stop working. This occurs after you install the April 2023 update. This update addresses an issue that affects some USB printers. Microsoft Defender stops them from printing. This update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Print to PDF. It uses the metadata for the name you sign in with as the author of a printed PDF. It should use the display name instead. This update addresses an issue that is related to changes in the forwarding of events. This update removes a blank menu item from the sticky keys menu. This issue occurs after you install KB 5029351. This update addresses an issue that affects application compatibility. It is related to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.